to BioBeam channel. So today we will discuss about board papers, that is board questions based on biology chapter one, reproduction in organisms. So let us go with the first question. So what is reproduction? So we know that reproduction is a biological process in which the organisms give rise to the young ones which are similar to itself. Second question is, what is the significance of reproduction? So the significance is, it enables the continuity of the species from generation to generation. What is lifespan? The period from birth to natural death is called as lifespan. What is asexual reproduction? When offspring is produced by a single parent with or without formation of gametes, it's called asexual reproduction. What is sexual reproduction? When two parents of opposite sex participate in the reproduction process by formation of gametes, it's called as sexual reproduction. Sixth question. Offsprings obtained from asexual reproduction are called clones. Why? Because we know that uh, they are morphologically and genetically similar individuals. Name the organism in which cell division itself is a mode of reproduction. So in protist and monera. So we can find cell division itself is a mode of reproduction. Then question number eight. What is question number eight? Name the sexual reproductive structures in pencilium. In pencilium, that's fungi. Ponidia is a sexual reproductive structure. Name the sexual reproductive structure in Chlamydomonas. It is zoospores. Name the asexual reproductive structure in Hydra. Hydra, we have budding as well as fragmentation. Name the asexual reproduction in yeast. It's again by budding. Name the asexual reproductive structure in sponges. It is gemmules. Name the mode of asexual reproduction in amoeba. It is binary fission. Name the asexual reproductive spores produced by amoeba. Pseudopodiospores. Name a fungus that undergoes asexual reproduction by means of conidia. It is penicillin. Name a fungus that undergoes asexual reproduction by means of budding. That is yeast. Name an animal that undergoes a sexual reproduction by means of budding. Hydra. Name an organism that undergoes a sexual reproduction by means of zoospores. It is Chlamydomonas. Name organism that undergo a sexual reproduction by means of gemmules. It is sponges. Name the organism which undergoes asexual reproduction by means of encystation and sporulation. It's amoeba. What is encystation then? During unfavorable condition, the amoeba withdraws its pseudopodia and then it produces three thick wall around the body. It's called a cyst and the process is called encystation. What are gemmules? They are asexual reproductive bodies in sponges. What are vegetative propagules? The units of vegetative propagation in the plants which are having the capable of giving rise to new offsprings is called as vegetative propagules. Name the vegetative propagule in potato. In potato it is eye or tuber. Name the vegetative propagule in ginger, it's a rhizome. Name the vegetative propagule in water hyacinth, it is offset. 
Name the vegetative propagule in again. It's bulbin. Name the vegetative propagule in onion. It is bulb. Name the vegetative propagule in bryophyllum. It is leaf buds. Mention an example for a plant which produces tuber as a vegetative propagule. It's potato. Mention an example for a plant which produces a rhizome as a vegetative propagule. It is ginger as well as banana. Mention an example for a plant which produces bulb as a vegetative propagule, onion. Mention an example of a plant which produces offset as a vegetative propagule, water hyacinth. Mention an example for a plant which produces bulbil as a vegetative propagule, it is agave. Mention an example for a plant which produces adventitious leaf buds, bryophyllum. What is juvenile phase of lifespan? It is a period of growth in an organism is called juvenile phase. Then what is the reproductive phase of lifespan? The end of the juvenile phase marks the beginning of the reproductive phase of lifespan in the plants as well as animals. What is senescent phase of lifespan? The end of reproductive phase can be considered as the parameters of the senescence or old age. Give the scientific name of the plant that produces flowers only once in 12 years. Strobilanthus kuntiana. Name the plant that flowers only once in its lifetime. It's bamboo plant. Name the reproductive cycle that occurs in the females, which are seasonal breeders. It is estuarous cycle. Name the reproductive cycle that occurs in the females, which are continuous breeders. Menstrual cycle. Name the type of reproductive cycle that occurs in non primate mammals. Estuarous cycle. Name the type of reproductive cycle that occurs in primate mammals. It is menstrual cycle. What are seasonal breeders? So, if the organisms are reproductively active only in certain season, it's called as seasonal breeders. What are continuous breeders? These organisms are reproductively active throughout the year during the reproductive phase. Define gametogenesis. The process of formation of male and female gamete is called as gametogenesis. What are homogametes or isogametes? If the two gametes are similar in appearance, cannot be differentiated into male and female, it is called as homo or isogametes. Example, cladophora. What are heterogametes? If the gametes can be distinguished into male and female type, it's called as heterogametes. We have example, alga, that is fucus, and uh, human beings. What are homothalic organisms? If both male and female reproductive structure is present in the same organism, it's called as homothalic. It's used in fungi. What are heterothalic organisms? If the male and female reproductive structures are present on different thalli or organism, it's called as heterothalic. What is monoecious plant? If male and female flowers are found on the same individual, it's called as monoecious plant. What is dioecious plant? If the male and female reproductive organs or the male and female flowers are present on separate individuals, it's called dioecious plant. Example, papaya, date palm. Why cucurbit plant is called monoecious plant? Already we said male and female reproductive organs are present on the same plant. Why papaya plant is called as dioecious plant? Because male and female flowers are present on different plants. Why coconut palm is called as monoecious plant? Male and female present in the same plant. Why date palm is called as dioecious plant? 
male and female plants are present on different plants. Mention an example for monoecious plant, cucurbits. Example for dioecious plant, papaya. What is staminate flower? The flower with only stamens is called staminate flower. What is pistillate flower? Flowers with only pistil is called as pistillate flowers. What are herbaphrodites? If the animal possesses both male and female reproductive organs in the same body, it's called as hermaphrodite. Give the example for hermaphrodite. Earthworms, leech, and tapeworm, sponges. Why tapeworm is considered as hermaphrodite? Because both male and female sex organs are present on the same body. Leech, why it's considered as hermaphrodite? Both male and female sex organs present on the same body. So likewise, earthworm, because same body. Sponges, the sex organs are present on the same body. What are pre-fertilization event? Gametogenesis and gamma transfer are the two steps in the pre-fertilization event. What are post-fertilization event? So cyber formation as well as embryogenesis is a post-fertilization event. What are meiocytes? So the gamete mother cells, which has a capacity of producing gametes, it's called as meiocytes. So there is an example, if 2n equals to 40 in an organism, what would be the number of chromosomes in its meiocytes? You know that meiocytes are mother cells. So if the body is having 40 chromosomes, then automatically the meiocytes will be having 40 chromosomes. While the number of male gametes produced in majority of the organisms is several thousand times the number of female gametes produced because majority of the male gametes fail to reach the female gamete during fertilization. So always the male gametes will be more compared to the female gametes. Define fertilization or syngamine. The fusion of male and female gamete to form zygote is called as fertilization or syngamine. Define parthenogenesis. In some organisms like rotifers, honeybees or some lizards, the female gamete undergoes development to form new organism or new offspring. So it's called as parthenogenesis. But here, there is absence of fertilization. Without fertilization, the female gamete undergoes the development of egg ones. What is internal fertilization? If the fertilization takes place inside the female gamete, sorry, if the fertilization takes place inside the female body, it's called as internal fertilization. What is external fertilization? If the fertilization takes place outside the body, it's called as external fertilization. Give an example for an animal where fertilization is external. Algae, fishes and amphibians are examples. Give examples for an animal where fertilization is internal. Fungi as well as animals such as reptiles, birds, mammals. Give an example for plant group where fertilization is internal. Bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms, and angiosperms. Why external fertilization is disadvantageous to animals when compared to internal fertilization? Here, it's disadvantageous because offsprings are extremely vulnerable to predators, threatening their survival up to the adulthood. So for that purpose, it's a disadvantage. Why internal fertilization is advantageous to the animal when compared to the external fertilization? So offsprings here in internal fertilization are not vulnerable to predators and the fertilization takes place inside the body. What type of cell division occurs in the zygote of organisms with haplobiontic life cycle? If the body is haploid, then the zygote form is diploid 
and then the diploid zygote should undergo meiosis to form haploid body. What type of cell division occurs in the zygote of organism with the diplontic or haploid diplontic life cycle? So here the body is diploid, then the gametes are haploid, when they fuse, they form diploid zygote. Automatically the zygote again divides into divides by mitosis to produce the diploid body itself. So mitosis should take place. Define embryogenesis. So it's a process of development of the embryo from the zygote. What are oviparous animals? Animals which lay eggs are called as oviparous animals. What are viviparous animals? Animals that give birth to end ones are called as viviparous. Why the chances of survival of end ones are more in viviparous animals than in oviparous animals? Because here in viviparous there is proper embryonic care as well as protection which is not found in oviparous. So the chances of survival of the end ones is more compared to the oviparous. Name the protective wall of the fruit. It is pericarp. What is pericarp? It's nothing but the protective wall of the fruit. So these are all the questions of one marks which is given in the PU board biology. In my next video, you learn about the two mark questions of reproduction in organisms. If you have any doubts, please comment in the comment box. And then please don't forget to subscribe our channel, BioBin. And please like and share to others.